Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another episode of Sundays with the Sumters. I am Latanya Sumter and Kiara Sumter is me. <laughs> and we are <laughs> we are the Sumters. Um, thank you so much for spending some of your day with us. Um, this idea was created as an expansion of our anniversary. And so we thought that we would talk to you a little bit about our story, who we are, what we do. And again, we always say that we don't proclaim to be relationship experts, but what we do have is a very happy, healthy marriage. Mm -hmm. So if you're wondering kind of what we do and you need some insight, guess what? These videos are absolutely for you. All right, so last week we said that we were going to talk about sort of what makes our relationship stand out, mm -hmm. um, but we shifted gears mm -hmm. and we decided that we are going to talk about trust and how we have been able to build trust within our relationship. All right, so. You go first. Sure, I can go first. Mm -hmm. Um, so one of the things that comes to mind is very early on in our relationship, I think we were not even together, but we were, um, our journey had kind of started together. Mm -hmm. um, and so this one day, Keon told me that he was going to call me back. <laughs> and... Um, and he did not call me back, ladies and gentlemen. Not only did he not call me back that day, but all throughout the rest of the evening, he did not call me back. The next day comes, he did not call me back. Um, so now I've gone to work. This is after work. So this is probably like around five or six o'clock in the evening. Um, and so I started feeling this pit in the bottom of my stomach because I was like, man, I'm going to have to have a conversation about that because it bothered me. And so I remember us having a conversation about, hey, um, when you say you're going to call me and you don't call, it's more than just you're not calling, right? It is also, um, it becomes a trust issue for me. Right. Just simply doing what you say you're going to do. And he had a different take on that. I mean, we were obviously able to um, to come to some agreement about that. But um, your perspective mm -hmm. on not calling was different. different. All right. Mm -hmm. Can you share with the people right. what your take was? <clears throat> well, based on my experience prior to. Latanya coming back into my life, it I don't believe that it mattered very much if I called or not um, to anyone. I, have, I wasn't accustomed to it mattering, um, my presence mattering as much. Because um, my experience was that if if I didn't call, then someone else would be called. Um, so it was, <laughs> I never heard about it. Um, or maybe there was a there would have been a resentment. I would have never known. So there was it was mm -hmm. a lot that occurred. Like the that the fact that we start like I said, we started off very early on being very transparent with each other and um and, and communicating. So that was that made all the difference because once I did know, I was able to change the behavior. You know, I was like, Oh, well if it matters, then I'll call I would I would definitely call you. You know, I made sure I'll see to it. You know, I apologize and Hadn't um, considered that, um, and I, I, you know, I don't think it ever excused any of my behavior or whatever. It, might, it ever excused any of my mistakes, but um, it was my reasoning was always, hey, you know, I'm not used to anybody. You know, I'm not used to being in a relationship. I'm not used to this consistency, and it was um, early, very early on. It was very consistent and very. Um, it was beyond my. It's the scope of my experience. I had never experienced care and consideration of this magnitude. Yeah. I, it's, it's interesting too, because it mattered to me in such a way, like I had thought about it that entire day at work. And 
I, I, I mean, I wasn't going to call you. I need to talk to I you. I should have. <laughs> are those like um, oh people say those are danger words but no I felt like I could talk to you mm -hmm. and I felt like even though it was a tiny thing or what could have been um, perceived to be something really small I didn't worry about you feeling like oh that's silly oh why is she even bringing this up blah 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 like I was already accustomed to your just being considerate and so I felt strongly about that and I needed to let you know. And I was pleasantly surprised because I didn't know what was going to be the outcome of that. But um, I just remember feeling like, oh, wow, like I just felt better after that conversation. Mm -hmm. And I we never had to revisit that conversation. And and I think also it gave me a different perspective for you. Not even like nobody even cared if I called back or not. It didn't matter until now. So there was able, I think, to be great. Uh, we were able to extend grace on both sides. Okay. So what do you think as far as like, do you remember sort of the process of how we began? For me, that was a pivotal moment. But <laughs> for yeah. you, do you kind of. Remember how we began to build trust? I mean, for me, um, it is, um, it's a couple of things that my process is a couple of, there's a couple of components to my process. And one is um, consistency. Mm -hmm. um, I remember, I pay attention to detail. I remember. And um, that was one thing, like I needed time. So time was only the only thing that was going to do it. But then it also requires courage. Like, it's not just waiting to see if you don't wait a, a period of time and spend being, you know, I wasn't going to wait a period of time and be in your presence and then trust you with something. I trusted you with things along the way and 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 it was scary, you know, scary. Mm -hmm. It's like you do it afraid and you say, hey, well, this is this is this is the instance with prior persons where they betrayed my trust. Yeah. So I'm going to try you. I'm going to trust you with this. And see how you do, because now I'm guarded. I'm doing it guarded. I'm doing it protected. So it's like if it's gonna happen, I'm like, yep, this is this is. If I can't trust you with this little thing, I'm not gonna be able to trust you with yeah. this greater thing. And um, I mean, I made a mis you know, and, and past early on in my you know, in my years of interacting with opposite sex, it was um, it was like I oh, it was something I overlooked. You know, someone lying to me about small stuff that didn't even matter. Like of course they were going to lie about serious sure. things, and that never, it just never, it just wasn't a factor. And I was able to, based on those past experiences, I was able to get a good sense of, um, like you having nothing to gain. Like you had to have won. It was those things that I identified right early on that gave me, the, made me feel like I could trust you. So that trust just never got betrayed. You've always done well with handling. I can trust you with my heart. I can trust you with my, you know, my livelihood, my life, my name. And you haven't, so I wasn't wrong, you yeah. know. Um, it was, I think, for me, not just time. So I think time does play a part in it. But then there was also a level of patience that had to be extended. Because, um, so another thing that comes to mind is when we first, I, I feel like we were just about to get married. So we were engaged mm -hmm. and... Um, you talked about opening up a joint bank oh, yeah. account. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I was like, mm, nah, nope, nope. Which is interesting, though, because we had business meetings, all the whole relationship. So I knew exactly how much you made. You knew exactly how much I made and kind of what went in and out of the house. But it was something to me about you having access to what we were talking about. I was like, mm, let's no, thank you. But you weren't pushy and you didn't force anything. You were very patient and kind, actually. And you said, hey, let's still get a joint account. And I am going to have all of my monies <laughs> um, uh, directly deposited mm -hmm. into that account. And if and when you are ready, you can join me. Right. And And that was that. And so I remember seeing week after week you having all of 
your money deposited into that account. And I don't think it took long, but I was like, hmm, okay, I can trust that you are. I think for you, it also represented your being all in. Yeah. So, I mean, it was coupled with other things because we were the, the, the lease situation. Like, and I was, I, I wanted to be on the lease, so I was equally responsible for for everything. So that way, it wasn't like, I definitely, um, this was man, before, this was, well, this marriage. was around that same, this was before marriage during the right. engagement period, but this is when I'm still trying to set an example. So we're not like shacking up, but we did find it in our business meeting. It was more cost effective for us to share the same space. And I was like, well, this is the last thing I need to see is how we get along right. together. And, um, and it was like, now nah, I want my, you know, I put my name on the lease. So that way, if, if anything go wrong, I'm just, you, it ain't just you on the hook. You know Listen, what I'm <laughs> I I appreciated that. And I never, I didn't have that in times past. Um, people have left me hanging with plenty of things, as you know. Um, so for you to want to share in that responsibility also told me, it told me that you were serious, yeah. right? I knew that I wasn't being toyed or played with. And I think that that's important as you build trust is to have some understanding of, hey, where are we going with this? Yeah. What is what is the what is the goal? And how do we build towards that? But it takes it took time. It took some patience. Yeah. But you had that conversation. And, for and sure. We, so we had the conversation. We said, OK, well, this is what I'm looking for. OK, and what what, what we're, look, we're looking for, a similar thing or the same thing. So. All right, so then we can commit to that. If, that. if that's what we're looking for, then this is what it should look like. So then we go forward in doing those things that line up with what we're looking for. If one of us is not being truthful about that, mm -hmm. then it'll be evident because you're not going to be willing to do what is required in for that for what we just agreed upon. And that um, that just re it requires courage. It requires. I mean, there's a lot involved. Like I'm. Um, I remember. Uh, the girls, you know, uh, being like there was a window, a time when um, getting Joel, we had to get um, it was like we got the babysitter coming over. And I'm like, well, it's only a matter of moments, and I I can get her. Oh, speaking of trust, I remember that one time that um, was that was I late or something? Something happened, and she was like, I wasn't there. I was, the one time my my baby girl put her trust in me, and I one time I wasn't there, and I was like, oh my god, and I ran oh. over there, and she was crying, and I hugged her. And I was like, oh, no, because my mission was to never, ever not do what I say I was going to do. Um, I felt like I always believed that that was the shortfall of most men that I've witnessed. It was like the moment that you're not, that you don't do what you say you're going to do with a woman, that's when you lose her respect. So I didn't want to ever have any infractions. So I learned to not, that it wasn't as rigid, um, but I didn't do that again. Like, it, it's... It, you're not going to be able to be, I'm not, I, rec, I realize and I accept that I'm not going to be able to be perfect because I be. It, it, I make my life a little harder. Right. That was, that was what made it a little bit more stressful because I was trying to be perfect and, um, and I was falling short and I was beating myself up about it. And I had expected like, like relationships past that once you mess up, you know, you're never going to be able to get right with the person or you can expect that they just going to be sticking around so that they can get back, you know, they can do something back to you <laughs> and, um. It wasn't the case. Look, six years later, we still together. Yeah. You know? um, and trust is it's still, we still are cultivating and building our trust um, in greater things. For I sure. mean, it's not those, those things is not what it is. It's like we, we, we use that. We have to trust each other. Um, we have to trust each, uh, each other's vision of each other so that we can operate in what you, so I can be who you see me be, being capable to be. I have to trust your guidance and we, you do the same for me. So we're growing and it's like every, t the, my trust and my faith grows stronger every time I, I, I try it and it turns out to yeah. be true. And, um, so speaking of which that's some, that's a good nugget that we have learned throughout um, our marriages that trust is tried. Yeah. Right. So it grows after being tested and tried. So if you ask someone, Hey, do you trust the person that you're with? Naturally, we'd be like, yeah. But if you haven't been through anything together where that trust is having to be tested, 
you might be surprised at the level of trust that you actually have in your account with that person. It is tried and it is every day us choosing each other, every day us choosing the best interest of each other, every day us doing things with the other person in mind that builds that trust and that continues to confirm and affirm that we made a really good decision. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, thank you so much for, again, joining us. Um, Today's topic was all about building trust within a relationship. And we, again, just appreciate your taking a few minutes out of your Sunday to, um, to just spend some time with us. We hope that you have the most amazing week. And we'll talk to you again next Sunday, okay? Remember, I'm cheering for you, all right? Take care. All right.